if we cross those lines of race, we find out that we can sort of broaden our perspective. We can broaden our horizons. We can actually decrease our bottom line just by working together in ways that we just haven't thought about before. The holiday season reminds us that we're all mutually tied together. As a small business owner, it really is in my best interest that the business across the street from me is doing well. Because that business doing well means I'm going to have another customer potentially. If you're working with other Black entrepreneurs, if you're supporting those businesses, you're going to make new friends. They're going to like you. And making new friends is good for business, right? As a small business owner, sometimes we think we have to do something grand or dramatic to really, you know, have communal impact. But in fact, there are a lot of things that you can do that literally cost you zero dollars. And one of those things is co-branding. You could do a co-branding opportunity with a black owned business on another part of town, or maybe you feature one of their products in your store, or maybe your online store. Co-branding is a way to sort of leverage your existing network to help someone else, and they do the same for you. And it doesn't cost anyone any money. Sometimes as small business owners, we think that I'm just running my shoe shop but you're a part of a much larger ecosystem. And so it could be an idea, even for your own personal interest, to talk with those business owners and figure out what are their needs. And maybe you all can purchase together. Maybe you all can do bulk purchasing. They can sort of leverage your suppliers to help their business. And also you can maybe decrease your own costs. And so that's a very small way that you can work with black entrepreneurs to support them and help their bottom line and also help your own. One of the things that we need to do is think outside of the box. You could be diversifying your supplier chain, right? You could be looking at how am I sourcing materials? If you're a restaurant, where am I getting these vegetables from? Perhaps there are local black farmers. It might be a little bit cheaper than, you know, getting something brought in from across the country. Right? And again, when you do that, people take notice and they're going to tell their friends and they're going to tell their friends. And just by reaching out, you actually could be broadening your customer base. how we choose to purchase, how we choose to support businesses around us, how we choose to support the communities that we're a part of. At the end of the day, it all comes back. We're all sort of in this thing together, one way or the other.